Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a bit of a different position. Um, I thought I'd film in here because the sun is, if I just open this curtain, can you see just back here it's shining. Um, in the afternoon we get the sunshine directly in our windows. So it is nice but it can be a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, we just have really light curtains because it still brings the light in and um, it stays quite cool but I'm here to show you the top that I finished and I did it in the lovely pomegranate pink it's inside out and this is what it looks like I hope you can see that uh, it's not as long as the white one the white one was 46 rows long this one I did 42 rows it is a little bit short um, so let me see if I can put it on and stand at the back of the bed excuse the mess on the bed um, <clears throat> I've got the one of my boxes here full of all my wool because I am starting something new and I've got it in this bag um, I'm using just this is a project bag at the moment just all my bits in but let me see um, ignore all this it's the lid to that box this is what it looks like um, it is really big really comfy and um, it is a little bit shorter than I wanted it and I was debating whether to take the sleeves or undo the sleeves again but I thought it stretches down once it's been blocked it's not been blocked yet it should be okay and I think it goes quite well with the jean shorts as well so I thought that would be okay um I'll just leave it on for now it's really it's, I love these so comfy and um I did buy the silver yarn that I was gonna do in this I'm really sorry I'm out of breath um my back really really is hurting at the moment I have problems with my back I have what did they call it I had physio, I've had a bad back for years and years and years and they, I have damaged discs, they're not actually damaged enough for them to do anything but I can't bend over for too long even though I'm a hairdresser so but I was at work this morning so that really does, it does affect my back um, but Hey ho, that's life. So, even us us young ones, Jan, have got. Well, I say young. <laughs> um, we've got problems as well, and it's just part of life, I suppose. I've I don't know how I got it. I have um, a dodgy knee as well. I have um, hardly any cartilage in my knee, so as I walk, it cracks and scrapes and all that, and that doesn't help my back because I'm walking funny and I also have a bad foot um, I have my metatarsals are the bones that go from your heel to your toes so basically that bit on your foot um, I have damaged metatarsals I don't know what it is really the doctors can't really do anything they've said that I'm too young and they won't operate to have a look what's going on so Mainly that is in the summer. When I'm in closed in shoes that are tight and everything, it's fine. It's normally when I haven't really got shoes on and I don't know. I, I don't know. Just sort of, yeah, whatever. But yeah, anyway, so this is finished. Enough of my my illnesses. <laughs> I have many more that you probably don't even want to know. But yes, I have finished this and I have started something else. It's a pattern on Pinterest. I've done it wrong. Um, I was sat out in the sun today, hence why I've got sunglasses on my head. And all it is is like a short crop top, top, crop top style. And I've done the first row. And you're supposed to chain, join the first stitch so it's in the round. Um, so I might, oh, this is how much I've got left to go 
of that row because I was like, well, how do I join this at the end? And then I read the pattern properly and it was wrong. This is the Panland yarn that I'm using for this. I did start another one, another top that was in the Simply Crochet magazine with this yarn, but then realised I did that much and I wouldn't have had enough. That is how much is left of the ball. So I realised I wouldn't have enough and it really wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be, I suppose if you block it out it probably will be. Um, I was expecting it to be a lot looser, not as tight, it's quite stiff really. It's not floppy as such, it's more like a, a blanket. I don't know, I just, so I thought I'd leave that and then if I need to use the wool. I'll just unravel it as I need it. Um, that's what I've been up to. The last video I made was the one showing you that I was was my wool. Actually, I went to the market and got some wool for this, and I got some grey wool, and I got what else did I get? Ah, wool for socks. I did finish the socks. Did I show you that I finished the socks? I can't remember. No, maybe it wasn't for the socks. I can't remember now. My brain is like a sieve. But anyway, um, a lot of you know that I've been having trouble editing and using the laptop and, and things like that. Um, this is just a bit of what's been going on in the past week or so. Um, I had a moment and I was trying to, I was trying to see my brain, what is, what is going on? Um, my, I was trying to do something on the computer and it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. There, the graphics card in the old laptop was really, really old and um, the laptop is it's got to be a good eight or nine years old and I know laptops they're coming out with new laptops all the time and everything so I know that it was probably quite old it had Windows 7 on it I couldn't really get anything that I wanted on it it was a 32-bit laptop as well and all this free software is all 64-bit I know some of you might not understand that I don't really don't really understand computers that well but um, <clears throat> yeah so I had a moment and it really really give me the ump and made me get a temper I don't normally have a temper um, I'm normally quite calm if something doesn't really go the way that I want it to go I try and fix it but anyway I slammed the laptop shut and I punched the top of it um, and I opened it back up and the screen was in a million pieces it hadn't actually shattered but you could see behind the perspex that it was all shattered um, so that was my crazy moment um that happened thursday saturday today isn't it yes that happened thursday i'm trying to, i'm going to try and get this up tonight um that happened thursday sorry i've got a drink here i'm doing a jan <laughs> um this is just a cup of coffee and this cup actually says i'm usually gorgeous but it's my day off and this cup I've had for oh years about 10 years now I've had this cup it was a girl at work it was hers and she left it and um, I said to her I love your cup where did you get it from she goes I don't know it was a gift and she left it and she texted me and she got a new job and she texted me and she goes oh I've left my cup um, I tell you what you liked it so much you can have it and I was like, oh, thank you so much. So I used this while I was at work. And then when I left there, I, I brought it home. I thought, I'm not leaving it as well. I, I love it so much. But 
I've been out in the sun and I haven't had a drink so but anyway so that happened Thursday and I rang Ian and he went mad and um, he was at work which which don't help so he was at work I told him and then he said to me okay and then put the phone down on me I understand that and I was so angry with myself I was so disappointed in myself of what I did what I done I thought how stupid of me because whatever was wrong with it could have been fixed it was I don't know what was happening I was trying to damn I, I was trying to that's it I was trying to download a program and it wouldn't work it kept coming up with an error and and everything like that and it just I, I think the rage just boiled up in me and I was trying to do it all day so it wasn't just like a five minute it weren't working bang and you all know I've had trouble with it in the past and it just annoyed me because I thought why does it not do what I want it to do and so anyway that happened then he got home and he said, look, don't worry about it. Let's go and choose a new one. What? Come on, let's go and choose a new one. Let's go to Curry's, PC World. Um, that's what we've got here in the UK. Let's go and see if we can go and see what would work for you. So we did that and I was so relieved that he was okay and, and that. But... Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm not proud of myself at all. And no, you shouldn't destroy to get new or break to get new things. I know that um, it's not easy come, easy go. And I know that as well. I've broken things in the past and I've not got replacements. So I do know that I did wrong. I really, really do. I'm 31 years old. It's not like I'm, I'm a child. But um, I think Ian could understand how it, how much it was grating on me this laptop and how much that I just couldn't stand it anymore that he said come on let's go and get one that you can work on you could you can use and and whatever so we did that and on Friday morning I went with his sister to actually go and pick it up and sorry about that my phone rang that's the only problem recording on my phone even though I've got um calls off it's still running through wi-fi so but i don't want to turn it off completely just in case but anyway it doesn't matter as i was saying we picked it up on friday morning and i used it yesterday and i managed to get a video up on my other channel so i'm gonna use that today to get this video up as well um so i'm just so i'm so grateful that we actually decided um to go and get this laptop um it's a hp NV blah de blah blah um sorry I just have to move you a bit um yeah so I am going to also order a new tripod because this one is just a little mini one uh, it's the second one I've had I only got it from the pound shop and the leg is broken <laughs> um so the first one the actual bit that clips to the tripod broke broken I had to sellotape that and now the leg is broken so I've had to sellotape that as well so I'm going to go on Amazon probably and get one that actually stands on the floor so I can put it wherever and and film it might be a bit easier and then I haven't got as much restriction that I need the height so that's why I'm sort of sat here in the corner ish <laughs> but yeah so I'm so grateful for getting um, the laptop uh, sorry if I bored you with this little bit I just had to sort of get it out um, but yes so I've used the laptop it's it's one of them laptops that it sits like that so you can use it and then it folds the other way so it's like a tablet don't know if I'll ever ever use it like that I think most of them come like that nowadays I'm, I'm not sure a lot of them in uh, Curry's PC world whatever you want to call it were like that um, but I'm hoping to catch some of Jean's crazy corner later. We have got friends round. They actually, um, my other half is really into his cars and 
whatever. So his mate is downstairs with him tinkering with the car. So I thought I'll quickly do a video, and because I, I don't don't want them to catch me and think what the hell is she doing. They all know I do videos. They know my channel and everything. But it's just a bit embarrassing when you've got someone sitting there. Um, the last video I did on my channel my other channel um my other half was in the other room and i was really quiet and so he couldn't hear me but he knows i'll do them he watches them and but i don't know it's just a I'll, I'll get used to it i will i know lucy coates i know you actually um do your videos while your partner's there and i wish i could do that but i just feel a bit awkward talking to a phone or a camera or whatever and that's why I haven't vlogged that much really on my other channel because I'm just so embarrassed but I suppose hundreds and thousands of people do it nowadays I should just embrace it and go for it um but yeah so I'm gonna stop rambling um that is basically what's been going on I'm hoping to get a few things done in the next couple of weeks um I want to try and get some summer bits done because I like wearing things like this in the summer, just over a vest top. Um, so I'm going to get that done. I have got an order, but I don't, I can't really tell you what it is at the moment because I don't know whether um, they watch my channel. Uh, but I will show you once it's been gifted. And yeah, so that shouldn't take too long. It's quite a simple thing to make. I have got Comic Con coming up as well. That's at xl london and that is like all the geeky stuff um mcm comic con if you want to know what it is then google that and you can see it's all like the japanese animation stuff and pokemon and all different stuff um and i may make some new bits for that i did make some last year uh, before i was doing videos they're all up in the loft so I might even get them down one day and show you what I've got and what I have made in the past. I made BB-8, but they all went. And I made the Big Hero 6 character. Is it B-Max? I made some of those. Um, I made Nyan cat scarves and things like that. Anyway, I will do a separate video on what I, what I made. And I may make a, a few little things this year if I've got time. It's the end of May. So... I don't know we'll have to wait and see because I've got a few orders and I rather do the orders because I know that they're, they're people are ordering from me instead of trying to do something for a fair that I'm no not that I know that I have no guarantee of the stuff actually selling so um, I might even do another little half stone or a couple of half stone pillows mm, that's a good idea Hmm, yeah, I might do that actually. Anyway, I'm rambling again, I'm rambling, um, I'm waffling on. So, yes, I will hopefully see some of you later in the crazy corner. Um, I will try and pop in, even if it's just for a little while. So, I will thank you for watching. And if you've watched till the end, thank you for watching me ramble on. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching and I shall see you later. If not, I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.